incorrect quotation. A quotation circulates on the internet attributed to me, but it wasn't written by me. Here's the text that circulated. Most of it was copied from statements I have made, uh, but the part italicized here is not from me. But it makes points that are mistaken or confused. I would just like to interject for a moment. This is definitely... <laughs> This statement was made. <laughs> what you're referring to as Linux is in fact GNU Linux, or I've recently been calling it GNU plus Linux. Linux is not an operating system. <laughs> yes. Like, I love how this is, I love how this is like the sticking point right off the rip. Like, none of this was a problem. <laughs> this is so good. But rather, I'm, I'm confused. What's the, what's the end of the sentence? All this was interjected then? I'm, con I'm confused what the, uh, the thing was. Anyways, but rather, another free component of fully functioning GNU system uh, made useful by the GNU core libs, shell utilities, and a vital system components comprised a full OS and defined by POSIX. Many computer users run a modified version of GNU system every day without realizing it. Though a peculiar term, a turn of events, the version of GNU, which is widely used today, is often called Linux. And many of its users are not aware that it is basically the GNU system developed by the GNU project. There are there really is a Linux, and these people are using it, but it is just part of the system they use. Linux is the kernel. The program is the system that allocates the machine's resources to the other programs that you run. The kernel is an essential part of the operating system, but useless by itself. It can only function in the context of a complete operating system. Linux is normally used in combination with the GNU operating system. The whole system uh, is basically GNU with Linux added or GNU Linux. The so-called Linux distributions are really distributions of GNU Linux. So in other words, he pretty much just said this. That that's just a that's a, this guy sounds fun at parties. Whoa, whoa, stop saying oh well, Linux is the kernel. When you say Nix OS, what you're really saying is GNU plus Linux plus the Nix organizational patterns and programs and tools that are vital to an operating system, but not necessarily needed for all operating systems, but some environments do favor them over other environments. Anyways. The main error is that Linux is not strictly speaking part of the GNU system, whose kernel is GNU herd. The version with Linux we call GNU Linux. Is it okay to call it GNU when you want to be really short, but is it better to call it GNU Linux? So it has to give uh, Torvald some credit. We don't use the term core libs, and I'm not sure what that would mean, but GNU is much more than a specific packages we developed for it. I set out in 1983 to develop an operating system, called it GNU, and that job required developing whichever important packages we could not find elsewhere. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is incredible though. Like, I know this is impossible to understand, especially in today's modern world, especially with people that just don't even have the foundational knowledge of like going through, you know, a comp sci program, that like if all you know is React, imagine a day in which you, you log on and there's nothing. You're like, I want to make a computer run, <laughs> right? Like <laughs> that's vastly different world than the world we live in. No matter how not fun this may be at a party, you got to put a little bit of respect on this, okay? You got to put some respect right here. This is crazy, okay? You know what? You get to say, well, actually all you want. You get to wear a fedora as much as you want to. If you're like, back in 1983, I decided to make an operating system the world is going to use forever. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. And you've been saying it wrong the whole time. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I should have just used GNU for short or GNU plus Linux. I guess I'm going to get back to writing TypeScript, which TypeScript is a language in which compiles to JavaScript, which is a language that gets it compiled to bytecode that runs in V8, which when V8 runs it enough times and keeps enough state, it then actually compiles it to just, in t it does a JIT, compiles it to this kind of machine-like code, but not quite machine code. It runs significantly faster, but still slower than C++. And then that in turn gets run by some other engine, which actually then runs it on the machine itself, a gen.